are you recording? <laughs> that is a monster! Hey guys, 39 Camper. Decided to come out to the lake here and uh, a little bit's changed since I was here last. Uh, last year, me and Missy were out here and um, decided to do a couple days here. Uh, Chase joined me yesterday evening and he has to work today so he's going to join me again tonight. And uh, we're going to do some more fishing. Uh, but first, I'll show you around camp. So the first noticeable thing is that great big willow tree snapped over. I believe it was a few weeks ago. It was a big willow tree like that. And um, let me come over here and show you. Property owner come out here and cut so he could get to his pontoon and everything. But it was hollow in the middle and uh, the wind just folded it right over. But uh, as far as camp goes, got the old trusty Winzel and uh, Chase lost my couplers on it. So I had to tie it up and uh, they're just like little tubes where these fit into holes and create the frame. But if anybody has one of these old Wenzel tents, I think they're made, I don't know if they call them Eureka now or, or what, but would really like to find some the couplers for each end of that. There was a lot more sun now with that willow down. It was nice and shady and here. And it's probably about you know, 84 out or so. But there's a fire pit. No. Well, Chase went to work this morning. And uh, Missy came out with Roxy. We took the boat to the other side of the lake and let Roxy swim. My boat set up. It's just an old John boat. But, uh, works good for what I use it for. Here's my camp kitchen. I like to uh, set up on the tailgate of my truck. Leave a lot of stuff in there. It gives me a little area to work and cook, process stuff. But I've got this uh, Sears Explore at a garage sale. And it was $4. But setup I use here is I've got all my utensils put spices and stuff in there, keep it in a small bin, and then I got this bigger bin, as you can see, that I keep my camp pots, pans, and coffee pot and stuff like that. Chase and uh, his buddy come over, we went out in the boat and uh, caught a bunch of little bass and, and some bullheads and that, and did a little bit of catfishing, didn't get the big ones, but now we're going to try again tonight. I'll make sure you bring some more chicken livers. Overnighters are fun, but sometimes you just got to do multiple days. I got up this morning. Chase went to work and uh, cleaned some fish that we caught and uh, fried them up in the pan and uh, fried up some uh, leftover noodles in the pan. It was pretty good. Had a Gatorade. Yeah. And Missy came out this afternoon with Roxy. It was a, it was a grand, grand day today. 
So I'll try to drop a aerial photo so you can see what the lake looks like, but um, it, it isn't just this small, like little pond there. It actually, somewhere in there, you go around the bend and uh, it goes into another lake. There's kind of like a little channel that goes into another lake, but I'll try to drop a picture of that. But. Man, the, uh, the Illinois, Indiana rich folk are just buying, buying, buying property up on this and building great big old houses. Over here, this used to be a big old 40 acre lot. Well, maybe it might be 30 acre, I, I don't know. But it was several acres like that. And um, they're just making roads back there and building houses. And uh, last of the little lakes around here that have minimal houses I imagine in the next 10 years all you'll see is houses out here listen to them do the state delegates counting up Trump's 237 and uh, having a bush beer but uh Got some sweet corn going on here. Chase is on his way. And um, walk over here to the grill here. It's shaky. Use my phone. I didn't even bring my camera. I wasn't even going to film anything. These are jalapeno cheddar brats. So, yeah. God damn. got a leech on him too. Yeah. Oh. oh. Okay. He decided he wasn't done yet, huh? Oh. Okay. That is a monster! like bass popping 
all over her. Hey guys, <clears throat> had an amazing time fishing. Caught a nice bass for this lake. Um, a bass like this in this lake is like a pretty nice catch, so that was very exciting tonight. Got the campfire going. And we're just chilling out here. Gonna. Might go back out. We tried a little bit of uh, catfishing and got some bullheads, but um, we might go back out. Might not. Might just sit by the fire and chill, eat some more uh, jalapeno. Was it jalapeno cheddar brats? Yeah, jalapeno cheddar brats. Awesome. 